Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and we are here to find out who's that indie today's indie being. Airships conquer the sky. So, this is my pillaging going on. Damn it, spy. This is my private game. I was just testing it out for about an hour beforehand. I got quite addicted. So, how the game works is this is the conquest map. There's also missions. The conquest map is randomly generated. As you can see, there's a lot of other empires out there, a lot of other things you can do. That's, these are cities. Capturing cities allows you to build things. You've got like little fortresses there all over the place as well. And they have a little fleet over here. Which I can also choose to just remove certain ones from fighting. Obviously these are theirs, necrosis are mine. You can tell by how ugly they look. But how the game works is you build one of three things. You can build land ships, which are basically gigantic wooden steam tanks. Airships, which are these little flying things. Or fortifications. Like, as you can see here, this is something you can build. I could design a building. Like, I don't know what I want. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know. I'd probably want an ammo store somewhere. That'd be pretty big. Just there. Then I'd probably like... Let's see. I need more supply hatches. I need supply hatches. So let's go there. There we go. Cannot give commands to building. Building cannot be placed here. Next to the tree. Of course it is. Can't give commands to building, that's fine, so let's see, I imagine it would require some form of cannons. Has no crew, it needs some crew now. That means I would very much like, let's see, corridor of a ladder would be useful. There we go, they can now touch it. Uh, aircraft, Hussar Bay, obviously you can go through things like troops here, I don't need troops. Commanding crew, I could require some kind of barracks. There we go, and probably a bridge? I'm saying that's done, sod it. Building needs more supply hatches, of course it does. Ooh! Oops. Yep, that's a problem. So there you go, I've built myself a defensive fortress. And save. I will call this the Black Citadel. No, I will not. The Poor Man's. The Poor Man's Citadel. There you go. And save. So that's going to get built there, I feel. Build it. There we go. So that is being built at that place there, along with the other official looking thing. The Poor Man Citadel. So the game works is when you're playing this version, you build fleets and you move out to try and take over the world. Like right now, everything's running in real time. You get money by whatever you own. Like this is 10 income. That's a city over here. This is a gentle takeover. There we go. As you can see, gentle takeover. As you see, money is pouring in. So if I want to build more cities, enemy fleet is moving to invade. Ah, we're going to see combat in a second. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to build another ship. I'm going to build a Necrosis, which is my current unit of choice. HMS Nausea. Um, to be fair, though, I can also build land ships. I haven't worked too much on those. And there's a research going on. You slowly research new things in the background. Right now, I have researched the Husser. Which is a little flying airship, so I might, just to show off things, design a ship we're based around. Rename the Esperanto. There we go. So what you need for a flying ship is a bridge. At the very least. Let's have an ammo store behind it, because that's obviously good. Obviously want a that over there. I can have some quarters for my crew. So I have loads of quarters for my crew. There you go. They can't go anywhere. So I have a regular corridor. And what I'm really after right now is a repair bay there and there. Some steel supply hatches here and here. We will, of course, work to those, as you can see. So your crew wander around in your ship. In battle, I will show you in a second, of course. But right now, I'm just building. So what I want is, for this to be an aircraft carrier. So building an aircraft carrier. I'm going to build a temporary one, see how well it does of course. So what you need is some kind of bridge, some kind of crew, hatches, and you need some kind of propulsion and way of flying. So right now, what was I doing? Oh yes, yeah, so we need some supply. Actually I need a ladder, don't I? Yes. So you need some kind of supply hatches, so let's go get them. There we go. 
So yeah, ships will be pretty big. We also need a suspendium chamber. So what it, this does is it suspends your airship. Let's have two of them. Just to make sure. Has no propulsion and no coal. You need coal. This is the age of steam. There we go. As you can see, we're doing okay. No propulsion. That is fine. We will, of course, get a basic propeller. Here and here. So this is a temporary thing. This is what you can see on the inside of a... Let's see. If I save the design, I'll be able to show it to you. It is called the Esperanto. And we're going to start deploying them. Can I build one? Should be here. There it is. Oh, it's too expensive. It's 1800. So we're about to get attacked by an... Let's see, where, who's attacking me and where? Okay, there, okay, they've retreated. So this is my fleet with all my ships I've built. You can obviously move ships from going around. You can do all sorts of things. This fleet is just currently what I've got. And we're going to go and invade Likersoth. So combat is basically on what you've got on your ships. You can have all sorts of different weapons and different equipment. You can invade, you can board. And right now I have a large amount of ships, as you can see. If I go to the outside view, this is what they look like. This is theirs, this is theirs. As you can see, it looks nice. This is theirs, these are mine. They look hideous. As you can see, if you look in, that's the guns. If I just start it up, as you can see, the fire. So you can see the guns. The crew are moving to the ammo bays at the back. Oh, they've surrendered. The watchful turret surrendered. Typical. Uh, let's go gentle takeover again. I'll do a big attack against one of their fleets if I can um, pin them down. Right now, I've been attacked multiple times at Vaxenforth. Oh, there's one. So they're being attacked by this, which I have these. Oh, good. And what do I have here to defend it? This and whatever that is. Can I build that? Okay, start. So as you can see, basics is you start damaging the ships and obviously buildings. They take damage. You can kill crew. You can set them on fire. You can blow up their ammo and supply. It's actually extremely tactical. Like right now, as you can see. That's taking shots, but the enemy has gone above me. And obviously that means they can't shoot me too well. It also means I can't shoot them at all. As you can see, I'm shooting them basic let. Oh. Oh, my ship. Okay, it's on fire. As you can see, they're taking damage. They just took out an entire building. An entire room at the very least. So obviously I've got a single rifleman in the second building. Yeah, not doing very well. You just surrendered? Not under command. Wait, have you surrendered? Oh my god! The ship turned round and set it on fire. Okay, that's surrendered. So I may have lost this battle. Oh my god. The Magnificent. Oh, well, it's going to destroy that. Let's see if I can capture it. Let's just send out some of my fleet. So these two are my necrosis I've just set up. Those two are going to go over here and hit that. And we're going to send in the nausea as well, which is also a necrosis. Let's face it, I just changed the name. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to try and build an Esperanto. Why can't I build this? Okay. Design the ship. What's wrong with the Esperanto? Open the design. Looks okay to me. Can I not build it? Is it just not not okay? Come on. Oh, it's because it's selected. I'm an idiot. So we'll get in an aircraft carrier. Okay, we'll put both these two together. We're gonna try and hit that. So he's going to there. Let's get him. There's a spy active there. Is that my spy? Possibly. So I'm going to be hitting an enemy airship and their defence. Ooh. Enemy defences. Let's put you to here. You to there. I can reserve but I feel like I'm not going to. And you to there. Let's begin. So obviously, if you go to the outside view, my stuff is mostly wood. Not much defences. Their stuff is mostly... Steel, and I also know for facts I've got them. They have a Gatling gun at the top, a Gatling gun at the bottom, a rifleman here, and a cannon. Now these ships are built around two cannons, and that's it. 
and the newer generation, this one, has a Husser at the top. As you can see, he's currently being released. There he goes. A little rifleman in a balloon. So that's what I've built a load of in the other ship. Okay, let's move you to here. You can ram the enemy if you feel like it. You're going to move to here and then turn around. Okay, move, flip. As you can see, there's a lot of combat currently going on. Of course, his ship's more powerful than all of mine. So I'm have to keep an eye on damage, because obviously damage is very important when you try and take over them. Oh my god. I think I just killed someone. Looks like the crew is good. I might ram him. Sod it. Ram him. Now he moved. And you're going to move up to there. I'm just going to wipe out one of the forts here. Oh, there is no fort. Ah. Must be a new conquest. So as you can see, it's very much tactical. Because you always want to figure out exactly what to do to the enemy and not lose. Oh my god. Those miniguns are destroying us. Okay, and also there's a small timer every time you move. So there's missions, like I said. Oh god. Oh god. They just ram me. Ram them! Did you just kill my men? I heard that noise of death. Oh! Oh, okay. I may be losing the battle. I'll be honest. I'm getting very subtle hints that we may be losing. They so just took out the ability to fly. I didn't build any fire extinguishers. Oh. Okay, that is retreated and surrendered. Typical. So yeah, I'm not winning against this. I just sacrificed the entire fleet to show you how it works. So yeah, I have one of these as you saw in the last battle. They are pretty tough, but they also cost money. I could build loads of these. Oh! Uh oh. Put it out. Put it out. Please tell me I put a water thing on here. Okay, pushing himself back with a fire. Okay, nope, nope. They've not put it out. Are they still shooting this? It needs repairs! Who'd have thought it? Oh my god. So yeah, I sacrificed this fleet just to show you how it works. Because obviously this fleet was not going to win against that. It has too much armour. Of course I have my own one of these. But it is fun to build your own ships. Because obviously, playing pre built you're not getting the full feel of the game. You're just playing what they have. Building your epic flagship is awesome. Although right now, even though it's full release, the game does have a thing where everyone admits it. Are you retreating? I'm going to uh, reserve outside for you. with a fleet. Okay, the nausea grounded. The other two escaped. Okay, you're going to move back to base. But yeah, the, gr the ground ships or the land ships are much more powerful than the airships because obviously they don't crash. But I'll be honest, I love the fact that there's airships. I've always loved steampunk. And like I say, I'm building an aircraft carrier right now. Okay, the creosote can stay. You support can come with me. Okay, you guys are going to go and support this. Come on. The objective of the campaign, obviously the conquest, is to conquer. There we go. Let's go send this back in. Oh, harpoon. So I have aerial husters, I have harpooners, so I can now harpoon the enemy. Imperial cannon and medium steel. Hmm. What have we got? Gunnery cannon, propellers, saw blade for tracks. Pressurized suspendium dust, heavy wooden armor. Let's go for that. Let's up the research amount I'm doing, so I can actually get research faster, which I assume is this bar. Yes, it is. Dragon Bridge has partly recovered from the war. Oh, good. They're getting better. So let's have you way at the back. So as you can see, it'll be one of theirs versus one of mine. Oh, is this as high as they can go? Oh, these things can't fly any faster. Any higher. Okay. 
There they go. Look at that. So it's one on one. Obviously these are more powerful than any of the ships on both sides. But of course we have one each. So it should be pretty easy. Move you to there. There we go. Here come the, here come the Air Force. Let's slow it down. Oh! Oh, are they bombers? Or are they being shot? They're being shot. Okay. So, I slowed it down. We're not having a weird problem. So, these can't go any higher either. These are too heavy to go higher. And the Air Force is dead. This ship is now completely useless. Oops. On the blind side, it has distracted them. Oh, one Air Force is left. What is that? That's a jellyfish. Move. Luckily I have a lot more cannons than them, but still. Okay, this thing should have a water tank somewhere on board. Yep, there it is, definitely out. This is also why it's good to have a lot more crew than you need. Like the ones who aren't doing anything can put out and repair. Are they surrendering? Don't put your hands up, don't surrender. Okay. The enemy surrendered because it ran out of ammo. Huh. Because it blew up. Significantly. Perfect. Gentle takeover. This is mine. As you can see, it's amazingly tactical, also pretty damn fun. I am considering doing a series on this, but we'll have to see right now, of course. It's just an idea. Let's go back to you. I have another city over here I, I borrowed. Build a land ship. Let's edit you. Actually, no, I don't want to build. I want to design a ship. Open the design. Let's get the Esperanto back up and running. Do we have a repair bay? We do have a repair bay, don't we? Yeah, we do have two repair bays. We have no water tanks. Grenades are... Uh, Husser Bay, got loads of those. Berth, bridge, cockpit. Lift. We don't want to build huge lifts. Suspendium chamber, small. So you can see, it gives you basic stuff. Then there's other more advanced things. Like ammo store, coal, machine shop. What's that do? Repair bay, reinforced supply hatch, small ammo. So you can build smaller ships, like little fighters or corvettes or frigates. Fire extinguisher, let's build. There we go. Steel cargo door. We have troops, of course. Let's get a guard post. That way we actually have... A small squad of eight soldiers have had a marine barracks that can actually invade the enemy, but I don't have reason to do that yet. Gatling gun, cannon, bomb bay. Saw blade, saw blade flipped. Ram. Ooh, a ram! I could ram the enemy. What's a deck gun? Oh, these are literally guns on the deck. Okay, so to do that, I have to actually have multiple ones. Okay. Okay, let's try it. So what I need now is... Corridors, I guess. So obviously I can just arm it up. In a second I will do so. There we go. So now we actually need ammo, unfortunately. Maybe we could do them on bottom, but no, it's fine, it's fine. It means we're heavier now, so we can't go as high. The more command crew to design, the more frequently you can give new command orders. It takes 7 seconds. Has 36 crew, recommends 29, so have 7 spare. Good supply, I guess. Okay, let's save it. Yes, Branto is upgraded. But yeah, this game is pretty damn fun. We're building this Branto in a second. A fire caused by a foreign agent destroyed the fragment of Grey Pillar Gear Bridge. I am not putting up the secret police. You can also, if you go to Empire Details, increase the secret police. Which gives, you know, gets rid of your budget, but does stop people spying on you. Because you can send a spy to any single place you like. I can now view the city. I can that is nice. Destroy this if I feel like it. I'm going to hit that. Okay. Let's put my entire fleet back together. Okay, research that. Perfect. Let's go telescopes, why not? So now even bigger. K 
cannons I can build, apparently. Well, you. Put you guys there as well. Let's bring an entire fleet up against this thing at Sigun. Invade. Can I build a new one of these? Not yet. Let's actually look at what the new cannons look like. Where are they? Resources, troops, weapons. So we have a bigger cannon. Imperial cannon. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. Stuff gets insane the further in you go, of course. So we're going to hit this big base over here. Sigun, which actually has a defensive fleet because it tells them I'm coming. I don't know what they have. Okay. View the sitter. That's their ships. They're floating castles. Bribe for 10k. Destroy for 27 can't do either. This is going to be a big fight. This is going to be a big fight. Sigun conquers Wombaton. These are probably the main ones then. Mm -hmm. Okay, move you back to here. Your okay, service ceiling has gone down. You're going to be moved. Yeah, your service ceiling has moved as well. You're going to be moved to here. Oh god. Seriously? So as you can see, this one apparently is pretty high. Okay, let's start. Can you move anywhere higher? Nope, that's it. Okay, here we go. Are we winning? So there's multiple different ships, multiple different weapons. Oh my god. Kill them! Okay, we launched fighters. We've launched fighters! Oh no, they're shooting them down. Look, they're firing everything. So there appears to be no friendly fire, but you can't shoot through your own ship. So each ship has to have its weaponry on the outside. And you can shoot literally over the ground. Yes! Other ships. Sinful, go there. Okay, you need to move forward and take out the castle over there. Don't ram each other. Okay, that one's down. We also move more as a group. I'm not going to. What's that? Is that fire? Oh, you're advancing. You're low on ammo. Okay, this squad's going to move to here. Do we still have any fighters left? All the fighters are down. Okay, advance to here. As you can see, the range needs to be a little bit closer. Now, if I can shoot this down over here, I'd be able to wipe the whole thing. What have we got? Hold fire. Aim fire. Here. No, okay, aim fire. We've got normal fire, rapid fire. Rapid fire. Trees on fire. Yes. Cut tethers. Launch tethers. We don't have any tethers. Let's move you down. See if you actually shoot that in the face. Come on. Come on. They're very attempting. Okay. Did the ship down yet? Okay. They're both. That was not down. That was not down. Gas out of ammo, advance. Gas on fire, the ground's on fire, this ship's still alive. Come on, look at it burn! Oh, his case retreated, okay. Move, flip. Surrendered, no crew quarters. Grounded, yes. I guess to okay, let's uh pillage. We're gonna let them keep it, we're taking all the money. Money, I like it. So yes, this has been Airships Conquer the Skies, first impression. I'd like this game, I highly recommend getting it. And there may actually be a series on it, because my god, I'd love to see how well I can do, even if no one else does. Aerial hussers, fire triplanes! Ooh, biplanes and bombers. Ooh, flamethrowers. Aerial torpedoes. Flax. There's a lot of things you can do, an awful lot of things, and I look forward to finding them. Either way, I highly recommend getting this game. It's actually just, it's either just left or just leaving early access and becoming the 1.0 full release. Awesome game, awesome time, tactical and strategic, although I'm pretty bad at it. Either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. Get the game. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye.